What's up guys? We are going to do a quick and easy mod, if you could even call it that. Uh, maybe just an appearance change on the Tacoma. And it's something I've been putting off just because I've been a little lazy to do it. But um, if you watched the last video on the Tacoma, we did a uh, front big brake kit, which had a very large red caliper. It's an ST40. Um, a few months ago, I did the rear disc conversion on the Tacoma and the caliper on that is gray just like stock it's basically a forerunner or fj cruiser rear disc caliper um, when the front caliper was stock both of them matching gray were perfectly fine with me now that we've got a red caliper in the front i want to paint the rear caliper to match so um, i'm not going to put any stickers on it try to make it seem like it's something that it's not it's a stock caliper but i want it to visually be balanced out uh, front and rear and I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what we're working with here. We've got the red ST40 looking nice and beefy behind the wheel. And uh, that was the last mod we did. So right here, you can see we've got the OEM caliper. Um, nothing wrong with it, but I want it to be visually balanced front to back with the red and I'm going to also add the five millimeter spacer in the rear that I did to the front. I added the spacer in the front to clear the caliper, uh, but I had them custom built to put a hub centric ring in it for the wheel. So rather than run these hub centric spacers in the back, I ended up just getting four five millimeter spacers with the ring machined in it. So that's another thing we're going to do, uh, but for now, we're just going to prep the rear calipers, take the pads off, and uh, these things should match pretty well. I think it'll look good. And here we have an up close look of my setup. We've got the archive hammer hangers, custom cross tube, extended length rear shocks, wheelers, super bump, U-bolt flip and bump stop, Deaver stage two leafs and a rear disc conversion. So this rear disc conversion, um, it took me a long time to do because I pulled the whole axle out, changed out the wheel bearings and all the studs. So you can see that video, um, I'll link it in the description and I'll link it at the end of this video if you want. But for now, we're just focusing on this. So I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of brake clean, get some of the grime off. Uh, we will unbolt it, take the pads out, take the clips out, mask off what needs to be masked, and then we'll hit it with a few coats of paint. This should be a quick and easy mod. I'm not expecting it to take up a whole lot of time. everything masked off aluminum foil is the quickest and easiest way to mask your suspension and keep it safe I just got a quick little plastic bag to do this and we're just gonna spray on the bottom this isn't a high dollar caliper we're not spending hours and hours and hours doing this this is quick and easy just to get the look we're going for now we're not going super lazy and spray bombing everything in sight so we did mask up the piston, the bleeder, and the brake line, stainless line, and some of the rubber down here. So um, just pick and choose your battles, I guess. So 
So we're gonna lightly coat this. It's a little windy. I'm trying to multitask and I'm failing. So I didn't realize that this wasn't in the shot of the camera, but basically we just sprayed a few coats just like we did on here. Um, it is getting a little darker every coat, which is good. It was kind of pink in the beginning, but I don't know if the camera could uh, show it very well. I think this is a really good match to the front. So only time will tell once we uh, get a few more coats on it and let it dry up. The wind is fighting me and um, I'm going to hop on the other side, get it knocked out while this tacks up. And then we'll do a couple more coats and I'll show you the finished product. All right guys, we've got two light coats on and one medium coat, just like the can says. Um, this is dry to the touch in um, an hour, can be handled in three, but it fully cures overnight. So I'm not gonna mess with it. The sun's going down, the wind's a little much today. So um, I put the truck on jack stands. I've got the wheels all put back in the backyard and we're just gonna leave it like this. So that way tomorrow we could unmask the suspension take the tape off and get the wheels and tires put on and see what it looks like in the sun with a nice side profile shot showing the front and rear calipers matching in red. Okay, and just like that, it is the next day. These things have been curing all night. Off camera, I cleaned all of the brake pad hardware uh, from the old grease, applied new grease, put them on the brake caliper brackets, cleaned the slide pins, put grease on it that way. Um, when we're doing the recording, it's just quick and easy. So don't think I skipped those steps. I already did it. I already put some grease on the brake pads as well. So right now we're just going to take off all of the masking that we did yesterday and start reassembling. And there we have it all put back together. Everything was masked up as good as it could. So that way this didn't look like a cheap job. Um, I wanted it to look as presentable as possible. Uh, we have the new five millimeter spacers with the hub centric ring that are gonna go on. So this will be a 106 millimeter for Tacoma and it's going to be wider one 12 millimeter that will go up to the TE37 and there won't be any balancing issues to worry about. So like I said before, I did have the plastic hub centric rings. Um, I took it off already, but I did the five millimeter spacer for the front brake caliper. And that was because it was a very, very tight gap without the spacer. So now with the spacer, you can see it's just a few millimeters, which is what we need. Um, I believe two millimeters is the smallest amount per stop tech. So I just ordered four of those and we're going to throw those on, get the wheels torqued down and we'll bring this in the sun so we can see uh, front and rear uh, balanced out like I had imagined in the beginning.
right, I'm just doing a double pass to make sure that the wheel is seated onto that spacer. That spacer is cut super tight. I have to hit it on the wheel a little bit. And even when I impacted it on with the very small 3 8 it still didn't seat it. So that's why you saw me work around a lot more than it would have with a half inch impact. But that's good to go. All right, well, she's out of the driveway and looking good. So you can't really see because the sun isn't doing us any favors today, but that's the rear. If you see the red right there getting hit by the sunlight, it looks pretty darn spot on to me onto these front calipers. I did just drop that TRD uh, replica decal on there because the original painted letters rubbed off and I got those sent over to me by a uh, friend on Instagram. So I'll drop the link in the description of this video so you can order some if you have these calipers, check it out. But uh, I'll have to wait for another day to get sunlight to hit both of these calipers perfect. Hopefully um, I can do something tomorrow and then we'll make the uh, perfect thumbnail for this video and I'll have it uploaded for you guys. But anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. There is much, much more to come. We still have to fully sound in the entire cab of that truck. I still have to build my quad and fix the wife's quad. So a lot of content for the page, um, but for now we're gonna call it a day on this and we'll go take it around the block, maybe fill it up with some gas, but like, subscribe, share. Everyone helps this channel grow bigger every day. So again, thank you and we'll see you on the next one.